is particularly special and unique in that we were able to have a Stamen presence in all stages of our development. The Stamen sisters, uh, each one of them, uh, fantastic students, really uh, embodied much of what we look for in Tamidot the Chalvin for Women. Serious in students who are engaged, people who uh, are deep thinkers. What is similar about them is their love for learning Torah with depth. The love of learning Torah to get to the bottom of the issues, to really have an understanding of, of what they're learning and to do it with such joy. Each in their own right is a living example of what we would like a Shalvim alumni to be. What does it mean to be an alumnus of Shalvim for Women? I can talk about passion for Torah. I can talk about passion and commitment to Am Yisrael, to Eretz Yisrael, to Medina Yisrael. I can talk about caring about family, caring about the larger Jewish community, or I can talk about the Stamen sisters. We have seen them in the building here, in the Beit Midrash, in the classroom, and for years since, connecting with their roots here in Eretz Yisrael, becoming critical and crucial members of every community that has been blessed with their presence. It's our zuchut to be a small part of their continued growth. The year I was in Shalavim, I came in with some basic learning skills, but by the time I left, they had been uh, significantly uh, improved just from sitting in the base medrash, learning in the shiurim, learning with the Israeli chavrusas. I made a lot of friends there that I'm still friends with to this day. So I was the first of us three sisters to go to Shalvim. I chose to go to Shalvim about 10 years ago when I had heard all about Shalvim from my father, and I really wanted a place that really valued Am Yisrael, Eretz Yisrael, Torah Eretz Yisrael. The girls' school, it's a wonderful place, and we were very happy that they went there. I think my year in Shalvin definitely gave me confidence in learning, gave me confidence in my observance of mitzvot, gave me confidence in my love for Israel and Zionism. I'm in Stern now, and for the past two years, my roommates have been Shalvin for Women girls. and. I find especially when Rabbi Goldsmith or Rabbi Liebtag come in and speaks to the Shalvin alumna, it's like we're just sitting back in the classrooms of Shalvin and in the Beat Midrash. The three of my daughters who went to Shalvin, they're obviously they're, they're different people and they each have different skills and different needs and a different way of learning and they all went there and found their way through Shalavim and it uh, remains with them today. I like that we were able to choose classes that interested us the most. I love learning Tanakh. I took a lot of Tanakh classes. I like that we could pick classes that were Israeli Hebrew, some in English. I like that the teachers had various backgrounds. They weren't all Beis Yaakov. They weren't all from Alon Shvut. There was a nice mix and match. So we would have open Beit Midrash time where you really had the opportunity to pick up anything in the Beit Midrash of your choosing. And I found that was when I went to the teachers and said, I'm looking for X. They would point out Sparim to me, which I still find to be my favorite sparim still today. And when, I, when I'm picking something up for the Chagim, I love Hagyonei Halacha. <laughs> I think the skills that I got from my class in Shalvim definitely helped me. I'm constantly learning, reading different mafarshim, different articles. And I even actually go back to my classes from Shalvim. I've prepared shirim I've given in the community. I've prepared different lectures I've given um, in different places. Just looking at those sources again. My daughters gained, each in their own way, a love of uh, Eretz Yisrael, a love of learning. They continue to follow the uh, derech that they learned there, and Shalavim was a great place for each of them in their own way. But it was this one class where we would discuss possible ambiguities in the text in Tanakh, and then we would discuss like possible solutions and she, the teacher would say, okay, hit the books. And this was a Beit Midrash based class. And we really just opened up every safer in like the Tanakh section. And that really enabled us to become independent learners. 
The highlight of my year was by far Yom Yerushalayim when we marched through the streets of Yafo all the way to the Kotel and I remember dancing right by the Kotel with such fervor, nothing like I'd ever experienced in my life. I think the teachers in Shalvim really helped me get a realistic view of what it's like living in Israel. I spent a lot of Shabbases at family, also a bunch of Shabbases at different teachers. Um, I hope in the very near future my family and I, we plan to move to Israel. I saw from my father the tremendous effect that the yeshiva had on him and I see the effect that um, Shalavim for women has on its students now. Shalavim has done so much good for, for myself and my family over the years and I hope that it can continue to do so for all of its Talmidim and Talmidot for many years to come.